Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel. And we're taking a look at the top studs on the board for week number 10. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, I think it's shaping up to be a really, really interesting week. We got 11 games, so let's jump in. Let's jump right in then. Let's begin at the quarterback spot where Deshaun Watson in the post-Bill O'Brien era has been fun to watch. Brandon Cook's very much involved. Will Fuller has scored a touchdown in six consecutive games, I believe. $8,300 for Deshaun Watson. The Texans' offense is rolling, and this week we expect it to continue against the Cleveland Browns. Absolutely. We have a 53-and-a-half over-under on this game. It's That's the third highest on the board. The Texans have a 25.25 implied at team total. Now, Right off the bat, uh, David Johnson left last week's game with a concussion. His status is up in the air for this week as of now. So if he's going to be out there, running game isn't going to be as strong as it could be. We know Duke Johnson's a solid player. I want to be leaning towards Watson just a little bit more. He has two touchdowns or more in, was it, six straight games. He has 20 fan points or more in five straight games. And, you know, I know the Browns are a team that like to run the ball, kind of milk the clock a little bit. But surprisingly, they're allowing 21.1 fan points per game to, to opposing quarterbacks. That's the 10th worst in the league. So they're taking time off the clock, but the quarterbacks on the other side still have plenty of opportunity to rack up fantasy points. So I like Watson. I like the multi-touchdown upside, and his price tag isn't that bad this week. Watson's price tag is totally doable this week on FanDuel. It makes him a top star here on the board. A lot of games uh, to choose from this week, a lot of different stars out there. But Deshaun Watson, the quarterback, worth going with here in Week 10. Up next, we move over to the Green Bay Packers, specifically Aaron Jones. He's priced at $8,800 here this week. And Aaron Jones, when healthy, has been a stud in DFS. This is the first time we're going to get him here on the main slate in quite a while because he has been hurt. Obviously, they played on Thursday night last week. Aaron Jones, $8,800. So not much of a discount here, Tom, but you don't care against the Jaguars. No, and like you said, we haven't had him on the main slate in a while. It's been a little bit crazy for him. Uh, I'm hoping that the the fact that they played on Thursday last week, as you mentioned, gives him this extra time to get back. Obviously, he was questionable going into that week uh, against the 49ers, but he played on 61% of the snaps last week, saw 20 total touches. So he's looking like he's fully healthy. We have the Packers coming in as massive 14-point home favorites. Going up against the Jaguars, the Packers have a 33 implied team total again. Looking to a home running back who's a favorite, who sees you know close to 20 touches or over 20 touches every game. The Jaguars are allowing 24.7 FanDuel points per game to opposing running backs. That's the sixth most in the league. If Jones is healthy with these extra few days of rest, it's going to be a lot of Aaron Jones on the Packers defense this week. Remember, this was the offense for the Green Bay Packers before he got hurt. Aaron Jones, Aaron Jones, Aaron Jones. Last year when Matt LaFleur came in, they were a running football team. With Aaron Jones seemingly healthy last Thursday, now having an extra 10 days to even get healthier, that puts him in a prime position, and the Packers in a prime position to do damage here against Jacksonville. Let's move over to the wide receiver. Your top stud on the board is coming off his bye week, and that is Cooper Cup. Cup is priced at $7,700 on FanDuel, coming off a big game before the bye. I know Jared Goff is not exactly Mr. Reliable, but you're relying on him here this week, relying on Cooper Cup. Why do you like the matchup for Cup here on Sunday? I'm going to be relying on him this week because guess what? You should know at this point they are playing the Seattle Seahawks, and we know they are absolutely terrible against wide receivers. They are allowing 48.6 FanDuel points per game to opposing wide receivers. That's dead last in the league. It was the Bills receivers with uh, Brown and Diggs last week. We saw them with most of the Cardinals a couple weeks ago. Whoever they're playing, I want the wide receivers going up against Seattle. We have a 55 over under in this game with 26.75 implied team total for the Rams. We have Cooper Cup leading the Rams with 73 targets, second on the team with eight red zone targets. Everything is pointing towards the Rams this week. We know that this is going to be a popular game. The Seahawks in their eight games this season, six have hit the over, one push, and one under. We're looking at points every single week uh, in this matchup with the Seahawks, and it's mainly coming from the wide receiver position. As good as the Seahawks' offense has been, the defense has been that bad. We relied on Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, John Brown last week. This week, we go over to the Rams because it's going to be a high-scoring affair. The Sean McVay genius will be in effect, so we believe. And hopefully, a lot of that genius involves Cooper Cup. That's going to do it for us here in the FanDuel Hurry Up Tom. We appreciate the time. We'll talk to you again on Thursday. Sounds good. Talk to you then. Tomorrow here on the Hurry Up, it's time to talk about the Masters. Davis Maddox. Of Sports Grid is going to join us and give us his three favorite bets. And as we said yesterday, Patrick Cantley certainly among them. For Tom Vecchio, 
I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.